today we're going to talk about how long does it take skincare to work. Hi, I'm Manuela Marcajani from Isomer Skincare. I'm a cosmetic chemist and have been formulating skincare and working with skin and ingredients um, for over 30 years. So in those 30 years, there's a lot of trends that have come and gone, a lot of things that we have seen in the laboratory and our manufacturing here in Toronto, Ontario. And so we wanted to share with you and answer some of the questions where people are talking about how long does it take skincare to work? Or I'm not seeing results fast enough, or what am I supposed to be looking for? So this is a really good uh, place to discuss what to expect with your skincare. Now think about your skin like an escalator, right? So your skin starts at the bottom of the escalator, your cells do, and then as they go up, that is your cells coming to the surface, that's that cellular turnover, and it literally falls off in the end. Now that ride along the escalator for your skin can change between, you know, 21 to 45 days, depending on your age, your metabolism, your health, there's many, many, many factors. This will also affect how quickly you will start to see results with your skincare. Most skincare, especially if it's a treatment type of skincare that is dealing with some sort of um, issue that is not surface related or dryness related perhaps will actually take four to six weeks for you to start to see results. And sometimes it'll take even a little bit longer and it's going to have to be more about a perspective that you're thinking about. So let's go through some of the things that give you immediate results. For example, hydration. If you want hydration, your skin is dry and dehydrated and you want to see some immediate results in softening and smoothing and hydration, hyaluronic acid, that is one of those ingredients as a serum will actually give you immediate results. You're going to see those results quickly. What are you going to see? You're going to see smoother skin, less dryness, less fine lines and wrinkles. So it plumps up the skin very quickly. So does glycerin very immediately. That's a hydration effect. It's a smoothing effect. It will plump up those wrinkles, but it is short lived. So this is something that you would use every single day and it's very much for the surface. That's how that element works. Hyaluronic, um, that's hyaluronic acid. Then we're talking about other acids like AHAs and BHAs. Those can, you know, depending on how strong your formulations are, you may start to see within a couple of days, within a couple of weeks, more exfoliation, more shedding of your skin as it's going up that escalator faster because that's what the AHAs or BHAs are doing. It's increasing that cell turnover, shortening that lifespan of the cell as it actually, actually sheds off your skin. And you will start to see those results. Usually if you're doing them too quickly, and so you're gonna get very, very fast results, you'll probably see also an increase in sensitivity, in dehydration, in redness. So sometimes these quick results with these acids are not very good for your skin. So it's better, I always believe, better to go low dose over a longer period of time. Usually with serums, you start to see results faster in, in a lot of ways because a lot of these serums are very active, especially for the hydration and for the peeling effect. When we're talking about ingredients such as retinols or vitamin C, those take a lot longer for you to really see the noticeable results. And that's because usually these are designed to work at a deeper level and to work on different uh, structure function elements of the skin. So when we're talking about vitamin C, for example, you may notice you're using your vitamin C serum, your skin looks and feels better, maybe it's a little bit smoother, less fine lines and wrinkles, especially if it's giving you a little bit of a hydration effect. And you will also notice though, if you keep using that type of product over time, same with the retinols, you know, six months down the road, one year down the road, and you compare your skin to somebody who's not using a vitamin C product or a retinol product, you will notice that your skin is probably brighter, smoother, and tighter. So these kind of ingredients and these kind of products are not designed to be used in the short term and to give immediate results. They're designed to be part of a steady, consistent skincare routine to give you those long-term benefits and results. Also with skincare, if they are prescription-based skincares or, or medical grade skincare, a lot of those are um, much stronger, much more active, and they usually get more to the root of a problem. But again, these things take time as your skin is renewing. 
four to six weeks is always what I consider a good um, length of time to judge if your skin tolerates the product, if you're starting to see the right kind of changes are going into the right path, and then therefore, this is something that you may wanna to stick to and to get those ultimate results with that you want from your skin, from your skin care. So, um, the other thing I wanna mention, so that's like skin care. We're talking about skin care, so we talked about serums, we talked about creams, we talked about ingredients such as hyaluronates and acids and retinol and vitamin C and how long it takes. The same is going to be true for other kinds of formulations that are about fixing or correcting, that uh, they have to be in the deeper levels. There are some things can, that can never be fixed or corrected, even if you're using skincare, like for example, dark circles under the eyes or some kind of issues with your skin that are um, beyond what topical skincare can do. The other thing that I want to talk about is your cleansers. How long does it take to see a cleanser work? Cleansers usually work immediately. Cleansers are something that, again, designed to cleanse the skin. Cleansers should be gentle and fragrance-free because cleansers, although they work very immediately, if the cleanser is too harsh or too active, it can clean your skin, but it also can increase the sensitivity and the reaction of your skin, so in a very negative way. So that's an immediate effect, but it's not a desirable effect. So if you really wanna take care of your skin and you want long-term benefits, low dose, consistency, fragrance-free, mindful type of ingredients. And don't expect miracles to happen. They are, you know, skincare formulations designed to smooth and soften, designed to hydrate and protect. You know, you don't really see the benefits of a sunscreen, for example, immediately, right? But a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, the benefits of utilizing that sunscreen are there in the health and the results of your skin. So although, you know, a lot of people want to see a lot of, people have asked me, you know, I want to see results within a week or two. Know that we're in for the long game. And that's the long game I think is much more important because your skin does age and change as various stages. And sometimes you're gonna need a quick fix like immediate hydration, immediate relief, but the building blocks of your skin, they're more intricate and it's better to build slowly and steadily with purpose and intelligently. Like don't hang on to all the trends, don't do crazy things with your skin and you will see the benefits in the short term and very much so in the long term. I hope you enjoy this video on how long it takes for skincare formulations and ingredients to work. I look forward to your comments and questions. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and share. Look forward to talking to you soon.